From your Facebook business settings, you can manage all of your assets, including your Facebook page, ad account, Instagram account, payment method, and more. And you control who has access to all of these things as well, which is important for a growing business with a growing team. So I'm going to walk you through your Facebook business settings today to make life as a small business owner a little easier. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency with a mission to help small businesses grow. Real quick, like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of the marketing videos that we put out every week that can help you grow your business. All right, so let's start by defining what is Facebook business settings. Facebook business settings is a hub for all of your assets and permissions. If you manage multiple business pages or have a team of people working on your accounts, you can manage who has access to what here. It helps keep everything streamlined and organized. Now let's break down the functions of Facebook business settings. I'm gonna to go to business.facebook.com slash settings so you can follow along on screen as well. Make sure you've got the right business page selected too. All right, so this is what Facebook business settings looks like and these are the functions. You've got user permissions, which is where you manage people, partners, and system users and you need to be an admin yourself to manage this. Next, you've got accounts, which is where you manage pages and accounts, business asset groups, apps, Instagram accounts, commerce accounts, lines of business, and WhatsApp accounts. You can also add people to different pages or accounts from this screen as well. Next is data sources, which is where you manage catalogs, Facebook pixels, offline event sets, custom conversions, properties, event source groups, and shared audiences. This is important because having your pixel installed, setting up custom conversions and catalogs are often the magic that make Facebook advertising successful. If you don't have your data sources set up properly, your campaign is likely going to fail. So you can check on the status of those here. Now the next two were not available for me, possibly because I'm not an admin, but Facebook describes them as functions of their business settings. So we'll cover them. The first is brand safety, which is where you manage domains and block lists, and then registrations, which is where you manage news pages. Now back to my screen, we have integrations, which is where you manage compatible third-party integrations. You have payments, which is where you manage payment methods and credit lines. And be selective with your permissions and who you give access to see your payment methods. You have Security Center, which was also not available to me, but it's where you manage the two-factor authentication requirement, add a backup admin, start the business verification process, and manage trusted email settings, as well as requests, which is where you manage invitations you've sent and see invitations from others, and setup guide, which is where you learn how to do basic tasks and business manager. Then you have notifications, which is where you manage your notification settings and business info, which is where you manage your general business info. Surprise, surprise. So those are all the things you can do through business settings. Now let's talk about why any of that matters to a small business owner. The goal of any business owner is to grow to increase your clientele or customer base and expand your business and profits. The bigger your business gets, the more help you're gonna need running it. You'll need to start delegating and the more employees you're managing, the more organized you're gonna need to be so you can perform Facebook marketing without any hiccups. This means giving the right people the right permissions and being able to manage any and all of your Facebook assets from one place, the Facebook business settings. Now I will say if you're at a point where you just want professionals to come in and handle your Facebook marketing for you at an affordable rate, we do that for small business owners every day, so I will put our contact link below if you're interested. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.